Eurovision Song Contest. 75, you may think he's the competition's oldest contestant, but our correspondent Steve Rosenberg went one better with a group of Russian grandmothers. Russian villages are normally havens of peace and tranquility, but not this one. Presenting the Buranova Granis, Russia's surprise entry for the Eurovision Song Contest. At the village hall, they're rehearsing their song, Party for Everybody. Most of these babushkas are in their mid-70s, but they've still got plenty of boom bang a bang these singing grannies are already topping the Eurovision leaderboard. Not in terms of points, but pensions. With a combined age of 403, they make the UK entrance, Engelbert Humperdinck, look like a spring chicken. They're struggling a bit with the English chorus. The pensioner's native tongue is Udmurt. But Galina says they're determined to prove that song contests aren't just for young people. That's why they entered Eurovision. And there's another reason, a more spiritual one. Buranova has no church. Joseph Stalin knocked it down 70 years ago. The villagers have turned this shop into a prayer house, but the Granny's Hope, Eurovision Glory, will help them raise money to build a new church. Mind you, household chores don't leave too much time for Eurovision preparations. I bet ABBA never had to worry about doing this every morning. At 76, Granny Natasha will be the oldest Eurovision competitor ever, but she admits her husband's not keen on the idea. After all, she says, if I'm away, who's going to milk the cow? And how do the grannies feel about being up against the pop world's most famous granddad? Engelbert Humperdinck. Well, until recently, they'd never even heard of Engelbert. But they're not worried. These grannies believe they've got the vocals and the vivacity to claim the Eurovision crown. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News. The run of a village in the Ural Mountains. And that's it for.